She's a celebrity, you see. She is uh, unique. She's one of a kind <laughs> and, a, and, yeah, a winner. A winner in everybody's eyes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we have a look at the sport. Yes. Um, Gavin's here. Uh, more... Graham Kratz, Brad Hall, Taylor Lawrence, Karen yeah. Gulliver uh, and Greg Cackett. Uh, they are top guys. They train like absolute demons. Right. Yeah, they're sprinters effectively and they also do loads of weights. Yeah. It's unreal. And that's, it just shows, you know, you need the power on the ice, mm. the skill, the kind of like the, the concentration, the focus, yeah. but you also have to be a super athlete as well. Yeah. And where and do, where do they then. train? Uh, they train, oh, they train all like, well, all over really. To be honest, I think Loughborough is a lot is, is a big destination for them, being a sports university campus and what have you. A lot of them went there, um, but Bath as well is quite a big uh, training ground for for that sort of thing too. But it's kind of depends on where where the, where the base is. So really, you don't need the ice. Not necessarily, no. I mean, it, it, yeah, it, doesn't it? Absolutely. Those little things that exactly make a little right. bit of difference on the runway. Exactly they, right. You know. And then when the first European... But did you watch the film Cool Running? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, this is it, yeah, absolutely. It's great to watch, and it's great to see Britain doing well in it as well. Brilliant. Thanks, Gavin. Thank you very Thank much. You. Speak to you later. Thank you. Now, if your home's kept warm by a gas boiler and radiators, would you consider switching them for some high-tech heated wallpaper? That's a good idea. Uh, it's something that many housing associations and councils are testing as they look for green and cost-effective alternatives. Our reporter Dougal Shaw has been finding out a little bit more. Gosh, so interesting, isn't it? There's so many new mm. initiatives and things coming on the market. Who'd have thought infrared wallpaper a few time. years ago? Although you can't drape your washing to dry your washing over your infrared wallpaper. Well, that is true. And it was interesting him saying that it's not necessarily the cheap option, which I guess at the moment that's really what people are Absolutely. after, isn't it? How do you keep your home warm but, but cheaply? Um, We'll have the headlines for you at 7 o'clock. I don't know where we're going on the travel show. We might be going somewhere warmer this week. We'll find out uh, now on breakfast. It's uh, time for the travel show. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Sarah Campbell and Roger Johnson. Our headlines today. It's Sunday the 5th of February. Our main story, the business secretary Grant Shapps has given energy firms a deadline of Tuesday to say what action they'll take for vulnerable customers who may have had prepayment meters wrongfully installed. That comes after an investigation by the Times newspaper which revealed that some debt agents working for British Gas had broken into the homes of people struggling to pay their bills in order to install the equipment. Simon Jones has got this report. Police searching for missing mother Nicola Bully say a woman described as a key witness has been found. Yes, officers in Lancashire appealed to find a person seen pushing a pram near where the 45-year-old disappeared. And last night they added that a woman had come forward very quickly. The former Prime Minister Liz Truss has blamed what she's called a powerful economic establishment and a lack of support from the Conservative Party for her downfall in number 10. She's written a 4,000 word article. It's published in the Sunday Telegraph today. Uh, Ms Truss admitted she's not blameless, but she doesn't think that her tax policies were given a realistic chance. Our political correspondent Jonathan Blake has been reading it. <laughs> 